There you go. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. So my friends are Gary and Rick. Gary is from Northern Cal. Rick is a high school classmate friend of mine from Kauai High. Sweet. And so we are very tight. Um, I can't get over how beautiful this is. This is like a green, green. Well, you know, sort of it's actually black, but oh. it's not a thick, thick lacquered kind of black because if you look closely you can actually see the wood grain still. Yes you can, yeah. Which makes it very unique. But the finish it's so it's so glossy. Yeah. Wow. And our mother of pearl. Mother of pearl inlay. Ooh, wow. And our other ukuleles are the standard, you know, mahogany. <laughs> this is actually called zebra wood. Zebra wood. Oh, and nice. this is actually a lower grade. When we have our real production it will be the higher grade and so the, the sh uh, contrast between the dark lines and the Back, the light color is going to be very striking, mm -hmm. so it'll really make it, it, it stand out. It still looks out. pretty stand out, almost like a tiger wood. For me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the top is spruce, which this is spruce. The soundboard is spruce, and guitars are often made with spruce soundboards because you get the best sound that yeah. way. Oh, okay. And this is all solid wood. A lot of the more Inexpensive ukuleles nowadays are made with a uh, laminate material, but oh. that really affects the sound. I if you played so. a laminate and then you played a solid wood oak side by side, mm -hmm. you could really hear the difference. Yeah, yeah. And the, the wood is supposed to age and mature. The, yeah, the more you play it, actually, it, it helps the, the sound. Oh, this is gorgeous. But, um, I can't really so see. My father plays ukulele. Oh. Yeah, and he, um, he toured the country with my. Yeah. Grandfather and his two brothers, and they all they did was judo and ukulele. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> so this well, is you'll have to turn them onto our website. So wow. it's www.nalu-ukulele.com. And anyway, um, Rick is a commercial artist by training. I can and see so he that. Designed, we, you know, we all collaborated. We came out with the headstock. Yeah, even the head, the you know, the cut out there. It's yeah, very so we have the wave up here. We have the wave and the sound hole, and then we made we collaborated with some very good ukulele players, mm -hmm. and one of the suggestions was to make the neck a little bit wider, so it's easier oh. to do fingering. Okay, yeah, yeah. and that looks um, well. I'm I'm so used to guitar, so it looks narrow even, but I guess it can be. By even ukulele narrow. standards, it's a little wider. Yeah. Wow. And then we went with the open geared tuners. You know, with the geared tuners, you can be more precise, oh. as opposed to straight peg. Mm -hmm. And then we, we considered, we, there are some gear tuners that are actually all enclosed, but then it makes it heavier, so we wanted good balance as oh, well. Oh, wow. So we put a lot of thought into putting these together. Oh my goodness. And then... Have you had, like, Jake play it yet? I know, I know Jake, and mm -hmm. Rick knows Jake. Uh, we've seen him several times, you know, in, in concert and yeah. such. Wow. I think he plays a koala. Which is a nice That's high my end. family. <laughs> what? That's my mom's family. Oh, really? Yeah, my oh, uncle wow. Alvin and his uh, his family. Yeah. They're, they're wonderful ukuleles. They are you know, wonderful they're, ukuleles. They're yeah. very expensive too. So <laughs> yeah. But then it's worth it's worth it. Oh, it's but good you quality. know, there's craftsmanship comes in variety, and I love diversity. You yeah. know, and music is is not about you know just one way. Yeah. So your yeah. instrument should be the same too. This is. So Rick designed the uh, sound hole label inside too, and yeah. you know, we're both from Kauai, so if you look at this closely, it's it's actually um, the Nepali coast. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, if you look through the um, the hole. Yeah, the sound hole. Oh, the, the way it comes label. out. Oh, that is too cool. Let me see if I can zoom in. This is such a treat for me. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I thank didn't expect you. this. Yeah. Wow. Well, we're, we're very excited. We showed them for the fir first time at the Northern California Ukulele Festival up in Hayward in the oh, Bay Area. Oh, in Hayward. Oh, okay. And yeah, I have some friends up there. I, sh I should have... I wish I knew about it. Yeah. We, we've had a booth at that festival for the past so many years. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have another booth at the Southern California Ukulele Festival um, in Cerritos in October. Nice. Oh, and then in San Francisco, the first weekend in August, we'll have a booth at the Aloha Festival, oh. Golden Gate Park. It's a two-day wow. it's a two-day festival, and they bring anywhere between fifty thousand to eighty thousand people over the oh, two days. Oh my goodness! They have yeah. a big stage, music going nonstop, all kinds of vendors. Oh, that's gonna be food wonderful! Food booths, yeah. And so, hopefully, yeah. we'll get a lot of good exposure and sales and yeah. May I hear, buzz going. Hear it? <laughs> oh, absolutely! Do you play? 
no, not really. <laughs> I mean, my father taught me a song, which I haven't fully learned. That's pretty close. I'm gonna get behind the camera this time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -oh.